Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got some boring pretty items to demo and review for you. I was sent these items for my honest opinion. I've got a top coat from Born Pretty and I'll leave the links down below for these items and a color gel polish as well as an almond cuticle oil and then I also have this rainbow manicure tool. I'll demo it in another video. So these are six mLs and I'm going to use this base coat from Model 1's and I like to scrape the brush off just like this and get as much of that product off as I can. With gel polishes you definitely want to do thin layers. So here I'm going to go in with my coat of base coat. You want to be careful not to get it on your skin. If you do, just wipe it off with some nail polish remover, alcohol, or an orange wood stick. I am going to cap that free edge just like I normally do. And then I'm going to cure it under my LED lamp for 60 seconds. And here's this beautiful shade that they sent me. It's kind of like a caramel color. And just like with the base coat, I'm scraping as much of it off of the brush as I can. And then I'm carefully going to go in with my first coat. And you all know I'm not a gel polish wearer normally. I do have some. I do wear them sometimes. But, uh, you know, I change my manicures out so often that gel polish just, you know, it, it seems like a waste to put it on and take it off so quick. I am going to cap my free edge again with that one. I love the formula on this polish. It's really smooth. I didn't have any issues with application. Um, got Woody out to clean up a little bit of that mess there. So there we go, checking it all out. And now I'm going to cure it again for 60 seconds under my LED lamp. And I'm going to go in for our, our second coat. And two coats is going to be good for this one. It's going to be fully opaque. But it just goes on really well. Um, I'm really liking that it's not too thick. And I am going to cap my edge again, my free edge. And then I'm going to brush over it just a little bit more to make sure that it's even. Uh, like I said, I don't wear gel polish often, so I'm kind of a ninny when I do wear it. And there we go. We're going to break Woody out again and do a little bit more cleanup. And I'm going to cure it for 60 more seconds. And now I'm going to use the Born Pretty Top Coat. Now, this brush on this top coat is a really fat brush. I like it, but on my pinky nail, it was a little tricky. Um, I'm just going to brush a very, very thin coat of top coat all across, trying to make sure it's smooth and that I cover everything. But it is, it is a nice top coat. It wasn't too thick or thin. I, I really like the consistency of it. Again, I'm going to cap my free edge with the top coat. And I'm going to make sure that I don't have anything touching my skin. One, one little once over here with Woody. There we go. I'm going to cure that again for 60 seconds under my LED lamp. Isn't that gorgeous? It's just beautiful. I do have another video coming up where I add some stamping and my swatch photo will show the stamping. Um, and this is the almond cuticle oil. This is one of those pins that you just click on the ends and brush it on. I do have a drop down there on my mat. I am going to scoop that up here in a minute and use it. I don't want to be wasting any of it. It's very nice cuticle oil. It didn't have a very strong smell, which I like. Um, but you just brush it around like that. But like I said, I will have another video coming up with um, me doing nail art over, and it's showing this nail art plus some more because you guys know I can't leave stuff alone. So there we go. And after you rub, after you put it on with the brush, it's good to rub it in with one of your fingers. Just kind of, you know, rub it all down in there. Excellent, excellent. I love the brushes. I love, love, love that. Makes it easy getting up under the nail, too. So, like I said, I will have links for these down below, these items. And I hope you enjoyed this one. I've got a swatch photo coming up. Um, and that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this one. And, uh... 
That's it. So until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.